was at a funeral the other day of a guy who uh, had kind of lived his life, you know, just broken. I mean, just broken. Was just chained with addictions. And, and, and four months before his, before his tragic death in a car accident, four months before that, he had, uh, he had uh, uh, just really found peace in Christ and, and had found freedom from addiction. And he was a childhood friend of my brother's. My brother preached his, his, uh, his funeral. And, uh, and he shared the story of the prodigal son. And my brother, you know, is just a great communicator. And, and he said the one thing about this story, he said my favorite person in the story of the prodigal son is is the father. Because, you know, if you haven't heard the story of the prodigal son, it's, you know, uh, one of the sons decides that he doesn't want to be a part of the family anymore. And he doesn't want to be with his dad and his brothers. And, and, and he says, Dad, give me my inheritance now. And, you know, and in first century Palestine, in that culture, that was, you know, that was something that wasn't unusual in terms of dividing up inheritance before, you know, the person died. And so he took his money and ran and left and went and just blew it all, you know, and just, and it says that he was eating with the pigs, you know, he just had really sunk so low, and he said, man, I, he goes, even the hired hands that work on my dad's farm have better off than this, and so he said, I'll just go home, you know, and I'll say, that, you know, dad, could I, I know I'll never be your son again, I've blown that one, but if I could just have a job, make a minimum wage shoveling cow poop. I'll do that. Just anything will be better than where I'm at now. And it says he went home and that when he was still a long way away uh, that his father saw him and then took off running for him. And, and, and if you were in, in that culture at that time hearing this story and you heard that a father whose son had shamed him went running, first of all, just running for a father. I mean, just that was a shameful thing. You didn't run anywhere. You walked. And, and, and uh, uh, that would have been a shameful thing. And he took off running to grab, to meet his son. And he threw his arms around him and hugged him and kissed him. And he, and he told his servants, he said, go kill the fatty calf. We're going to throw a party because this son of mine was lost. And, and he's now been found. He was dead and now he's alive. He put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet and a robe on his back and, and walked him home and uh, and my brother made this comment about that story he said uh, what that story promises me is uh, that you will never be so lost that there's not somebody looking for you and uh, I'm sure glad of that uh, so anyway I didn't mean to like get off on all that but I'm glad I did